Hello, I'm Andrew Duncan, and I'd like to welcome you to another Art of Living video. I'm going to show you how to replace the handle uh, on a Le Creuset frying pan, which is actually quite a, a tricky job. So, the first thing you've got to do is to remove the old handle. Sometimes, and the handle is removed by undoing this um, nut at the end here, which has got the hook built into it. Most of the time you'll find that you can't just turn it as I'm doing now because with a, an old pan um, that will have become seized up. I generally use a, a screwdriver put through there to give enough leverage to be able to turn it. To, to turn it. There is a possibility that you will shear the, the shaft off inside, which I'll show you in a moment when you do this, um, but all is not lost, at least it isn't with it when you've got a frying pan like this. Okay, so that has taken the, uh, the nut off at the end. Now the handle will come off quite easily. Um, and this rod, if, you have, if it has by any chance sheared off, that rod, the good thing about that is that um, we can get these as replacement parts. Um, these days they're stainless steel as opposed to ordinary steel, so they don't rust. And um, they are easily replaced. The tricky bit is actually putting it all back together again. So you've got your new um, handle that we've sent you in the post um, and you've got the pan without a handle on it. Now you, I don't, don't know if the camera can pick this up but inside the hole here there is a rod that goes straight the way across which you'll see about an inch in and at the bottom here there's a little bit which sticks up and that is for the handle here to locate on so the handle can't twist when you pick the, the, pick the frying pan up which is very important. So this little notch here goes sits onto that little notch in there like that. But before we do that we get the rod located back onto this rod that goes across inside. There's a hook on the rod and that locates in the pan and I've hooked it on and it can't come out. The tricky bit is getting this handle on without pushing the rod further up the handle there. And the easy way of doing it is when you get to this stage is just to turn it upside down a little bit like that so that you can see the thread pokes out but that's as far as the thread is going to poke out. So if you just tried to put the knob on there, you'd, it would just push in and you'd never get started. You need something, therefore, to stop that rod being pushed back in again. What I use is an ordinary kitchen knife like this, and I engage the, the knife blade in the um, thread of the rod which stops the rod disappearing back up as I try and get the, the uh, nut started on the thread. As soon as it's started, which it is now, as you can see I can pull on it, I can now tighten it up. And either by hand or very, very gently using a, a, a screwdriver or something which will give you a little bit more pressure, but don't over tighten it. It doesn't need to be really tight. All you need to know is that the handle won't move. Now that handle is fine. It's not, it's not moving to any significant degree. And that is it. That's the job done.